So up next, in our path to learning Laravel, we're going to start talking about Blade. We already talked about Blade a little tiny bit in a couple of episodes, but we're going to dive deeper now into Blade. Blade is the rendering engine that Laravel uses to parse HTML, and it is very powerful. So using Blade, we're going to work on the front end of our project. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to be able to navigate between my pages. So let's start with the customers.blade.php file. I'm just going to add a UL list and it's going to contain some lines, let's say four, and each of them is going to have an anchor tag. Okay, so the first thing is going to be our home page, and we could say home about us. The third page is going to be the contact page, and that's going to be contact us. Again, obviously, dummy project here just for demonstrations. The last one is going to be customers. And so now we have these links. So if I click on home, of course, I end up in home about us and about us and contact us. Looks like contact us is not working. Let's check what happened. Let's visit the web.php file. Ah, there we go. In a previous lesson, I had changed this from contact to contact dash us. Let's go ahead and revert back to just contact. And let's refresh. There we go. And customers, of course, we're our customers. So now that we have this very basic navigation, of course, now we need to put it in every single page. So what do you do? You'd have to copy it and then go to each of these pages and paste that in. But I think you know that that's probably not the route that we're going to do. Instead, let's create what is known as a layout file. So a layout file is what's going to contain all of the data that is shared between many different views. You can have as many layout files as your application requires, but typically a pages really only have one for the consumer facing side and maybe another layout file if you have an internal backend system that you can log into. So let's make one of those now. I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call it layout.blade.php. For this demonstration, I do want to use Bootstrap. So let's bring that in right now through a CDN. I'm going to copy the Bootstrap CDN. Give me a couple of minutes here to get this HTML ready. All right, so let me just add that into my head. So we have that. Let me move this to the bottom. There we go. So we have our script tag there and we have our CDN right here. So now I can label this as container. And as you can tell, we're pulling in bootstrap. Awesome. All right, so the first thing I want to do is let's find the example navigation bar here. And here is the basic navigation that we're going to use. So I'm going to copy this and I'm just simply going to paste it right here, right after body. But now, of course, I need to change these links. So the first one is going to be home. Let's get rid of this active. So we'll say home and home is going to go to just slash. The second one is going to be about us. That's going to go to about. The third link is going to be contact, contact us. And then we're going to need one more and we're going to call this one customers. And of course, customers we will just say customer list. OK, we can get rid of this disabled one. And there we go. So now we have our layout file. So this is the file that we're going to share along with all of the other views. But we need to tell Blade where exactly do we want to inject each individual file. And that is done with the yield command. So at yield, and we're going to say content. So that's all we're doing. What we're doing is we're telling Blade, go ahead and yield a space here for anything that is inside one of my child files and just drop it in right in this section. So in our customers, we can get rid of this temporary navigation that we put here. And what we're going to add is at the top of the file at extends. And what are we extending? Well, we are extending the layout file. And then this whole thing, I'm going to cut it and we're going to say the section is content. We'll paste that back in and we'll say end section. So that's how Blade works. So in this layout file, again, this is all of the shared HTML that you're going to have between all of your files. And you're only going to set this up once. Obviously, you can add as many sections as you need. You may want to add some stuff to the head. You may want to add some stuff to the body and maybe some stuff for scripts. And then in your actual blade file, 
you're going to say it extends the layout and this layout comes from the file name of this, this layout.blade.php equals layout. If this was called something else like app.blade.php, then of course here it would just say app. And then you start naming your section. Right now we only have the content section, so we only have one section. But if you had several sections, of course you could start a whole new section after this and call it your other section name here. Okay, obviously we don't have one, so let's get rid of that. Let's refresh the browser and see what we get. And there we are. So we are now leveraging Bootstrap and we have the very basic navigation bar up here. And now we have our customers list. Let's keep refactoring through all of our views to add this in. So we're going to copy this top one. Let's go to the about page and then let's add this to the top. Let's indent this and and section. OK, let's visit the about us page now. Nice. OK, now let's do the contact page. Same thing. I'm going to go to the top, paste that in, make sure we indent this, and then at the end, end section, hit save. All right, let's go to contact us. There we are. And now let's do the final one, the home. So obviously this home one is still the Laravel one. Let's go ahead and make our own. So let's go back to my routes file. So web.php. And what we're going to return here is just maybe a home view which doesn't exist yet. So let's create it now. I'm going to duplicate this contact view and let's just call it home. And then inside here, we'll say, welcome to Laravel 5.8. Okay. Let's go back here, hit refresh. And there we are. So we have a fully functional website. We have our home page, about us page, contact us and customer list. And we're leveraging blade to do so. Let's recap this whole episode. So we created this layout file. This layout file will contain all of the HTML that is shared amongst all of your views. And again, you can create as many of these as you want. We just have one for now. We're bringing in Bootstrap by calling the CDN. We copied that from their website. And then we have a very basic navigation bar right here, which we also copied from the documentation. And then this is the section that we're interested in. We've created this container and inside the container, we are yielding a section called content. So this is the section that we are targeting from each of our views. Now, if we look at our about view, for example, we are extending layout and this layout name is coming from the layout.blade.php file that we created. And then we're starting a section and the section that we are targeting is content. Again, content is this section that we are yielding right here. So all we're doing is we're changing this line for whatever we put in between this section and the end section. And so in this case, we're inserting an H1 with about us and just a simple paragraph. So that's how blade templating works. Now there's a lot more to blade, but this alone will get you started. Go ahead and refactor your project that you're working on to add a layout file. And when you're ready, let's move on to something else.